Hey, Indianapolis Motor Speedway fans, Doug Bowles here with you. Now that the racing season is over, we're going to try and give you some behind the scenes looks at the Speedway that you don't normally get to see. We're starting here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. Next time you come in to see all our history, that is the race cars right here on the floor, as well as the basement tour. Don't forget to check out our Photoshop just around the corner on the second floor. Most people don't know it, but we've got over 5 million photos that were taken and are still up there in negative form. And then we take about a million photos a year digitally of the events that take place here at the Speedway as well as the NTT IndyCar Series. So we wanted to make sure you knew it was there, but we're gonna give you not just the behind the bricks, but an inside the vault tour of where we store those photos and how you too can come in and take some of them home with you. Let's go. So after that quick elevator ride, we're now on the second floor of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum building and we are in the photo vault. So this is where five million images that are still on film reside, as well as the almost a million photos we take every year that you find on digital. And Joe Skabinski takes care of a lot of this. Joe, you've been uh, out shooting photos, but then when you're not out shooting photos, whether it's here or on the road at an IndyCar series or any of the events that really relate to our racing, uh, this is sort of home for you, trying to figure out where all our history lives right here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Yeah, it's really cool to kind of find those hidden gems. We've got probably 80,000 or so scanned in right now, um, and we're adding to that every day, um, scanning and just trying to work through all of it. And, uh, you know, we're always kind of finding some new stuff. Like uh, recently we found um, Mario Andretti 1969 milk shot, which was something that we never thought we'd see. Sure enough, it was in there, just kind of hidden. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. You don't think about it. We're so used to now that our, our camera is our phone, so it's so easy for us to collect images. But back in the day, um, when those pictures were shot, they they put them on this on these glass negatives, and uh, just the history of the glass negative itself. So what you're going to show us is a 102-year-old glass negative of the 1919 starting field of the Indianapolis 500. It's pretty awesome. We'll talk a little bit about how fans or people doing research can purchase some things. But one of the really neat things that we do every year to start the Indy 500 is we do this photo of all the drivers. Uh, the starting field is a lot of fun. We get them all together. But that dates all the way back really to the beginning. And one of the, our favorite things uh, that our collectors and folks that are really into history is that panoramic photo uh, that people took of the starting field and the cars. And I think we've got one of those from 1911 that you have an opportunity really yeah. to show us. Yeah. Over here we've got the panorama of the 1911 driver lineup. And uh, this is really cool. So this is a 110 year old photograph. Correct. And there was 100,000 people here for the race. Uh, it's pretty amazing the history that we have here. So fans, as you know, uh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is full of history. And inside this fireproof room, so much of that history exists. So much of it hasn't even been seen since it was first taken. And over time, hopefully we'll get more of those digitized so that we can share those. Now, next place we're gonna go is where you, as a customer, as a fan, can come in and check out some of the photos that we know you already want and we have ready for you. To also talk a little bit about how, if you're doing a research project, Joe and the team can help you out. <laughs> 